Well, there is a provincial election going on right now in Nova Scotia, and as in any election, the different parties, of course, choose candidates to run for them. But there is a controversy involving a former Liberal candidate who says she was forced to drop out of the race and asked to lie about the reasons behind her exit. Robin Ingram, her name, originally cited mental health concerns when she dropped out last week. She was running there in the riding of Dartmouth South for the Liberals. But now in a post on Instagram, she says the real reason behind her leaving was because of revealing photos that she had posted in the past. In a letter to Nova Scotia's Liberal leader, Ian Rankin, Ingram says the party made a mistake by forcing her out and accused the party as well of misogynistic behavior. All right, let's bring in Eleanor Fast. She is the executive director of Equal Voice. It's an organization dedicated to helping elect women in more levels of political office across our country. Eleanor, good to have you with us. Hi, Todd. Great to be here. What do you make of this story? Well... I mean, I can't comment on the details of the situation because I don't know more than has been reported, but I was astounded um, when I read about it. It's such a clear example of the double standard that women face in politics compared to men. And it just creates another barrier to women's participation. She said she disclosed her photos to the party, and then obviously, in her mind anyway, that was no longer good enough here. How do you think uh, female candidates, Eleanor, are scrutinized more than men? Yeah, I mean, we see it all the time. Um, it's There's a constantly changing environment for the way women are expected to be, um, what they're expected to have done, and so on. And we really do see a, a true double standard of the way that women are scrutinized compared to men. Um, we have this example now related to some photos, but we can think about many men who've had what I would term revealing photos, and it's actually done them no harm and even potentially helped their career. I mean, think about somebody like Adam Vancouverton, for example, who... Um, um, yet there have been a great number of photos sort of celebrating him, celebrating his body, um, showing him shirtless, and yet I ha don't think I've seen um, any or at least not very many um, negative comments about this. Um, and then we see women who... Although, again, I don't know the full story, but women who are not even allowed to run because of some photos, it really is a double standard. Yeah, and I just want to quote what she said. Uh, you know, I explained to the party I love to show off the artwork on my skin. I have no problem taking boudoir photos alone with friends. I've used multiple platforms to express myself online, some including Instagram, Tumblr, OnlyFans. I I'm curious what we should take away from this, though, because, you know, there are a number of women obviously running in Nova Scotia right now and we are on the eve uh, as you know of what will likely be a federal election in the next couple of months give or take and so you know as, as, as a woman who looks into female participation in our country getting people elected as well what would you say to the, the political parties who I gather right now federally are starting to look at potential candidates and there is this vetting going on of looking into candidates regardless of gender, you know, what they said in the past, social media posts, and on and on it goes. Yeah, obviously I'm worried that this will cause more women to feel that politics is an unwelcome place. I mean, what we need in Canada, whether it's federal level or provincial, is we need more diverse politics, more diverse people in politics. We need more women, and especially more women with different lived experiences. And this um, creates barriers to that. I'm, I'm worried that people will see this story and think, oh no, that could apply to me. We need all the parties to welcome people with different backgrounds and, and not turn them away. And as you said, um, federally, uh, obviously, we're all expecting an election soon. Um, in the past weeks, we've seen several high-profile women at the federal level decide not to seek re-election um, because of the feeling that politics is an unwelcoming place to them. And that really, really concerns me. Eleanor, I appreciate you taking the time to come on the program today, and I look forward to talking to you again uh, whenever a federal election gets underway. That would be great. Thanks so much.